Satnam. So we are very happy. We are here with uh, Fateh, Satmuk and myself, Satsarbat. Just before the recording started, we said we are very near. We are very near to fitting the camera, but we are also very near in spirit and in friendship. And we have the chance now to be physically together for this transition to 2021. And we decided to make this video to give you and also ourselves a guidance for 2021, just sharing among each other our ideas. So we can start. Who wants to start? Fadeh. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it always starts with a seed. And to me, the, the first very deep connection to 2021 was uh, with the solstice, which was 21 of December, where the, the numbers, they match. So it was like in this special conjunction of uh, Saturn, and Jupiter and Pluto, uh, there was really this mix already of three very, very deep energy uh, aligning um, to somehow open up a channel of experience. And um, yeah, man, many things have been said about it. Uh, I think it's, it's really just a start, like a, a seed sprouting and for me, this is like uh, the beginning of a new cycle of consciousness. And we know the teachings when they talk about cycles of consciousness, it's always seven years. And uh, maybe we'll see also nine yes. year cycle, like uh, 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 the womb, cycle of the womb. Yes. But uh, so it will be, maybe we'll talk about it deeper, but this mm -hmm. is the, the first thing that came to me, this seed sprouting in the solstice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and if you look at the number of uh, 2021, in 2020 we had really the, the polarization, which were very strong. Uh, many things came up between masculine, feminine, a lot of pressure with the conf confinement, lockdown, the virus. And now we have a chance that the sprout, like you say, the seed start to grow from this, um, from this pressure the pressure of the polarity and the polarities within the polarity, there is this one coming out. So it's a chance because we can really use what happened in 2020 to grow and to uh, own it. But at the same time, it's fragile when the seed starts and we might get influenced by others, we might doubt, we might compare, we might get into this, um, uh, I would say, doubt and lose faith which is also connected to the two. Lose the, the obedience to this one and get distracted by what is going on around. Yes, and I'm connected to both of the ideas of the three that I also see very strongly, not only in 21, but I see it also like two, two and the one. And I'm also very connected to what you just said about the uh, amount of information that we gathered in 2020 and now it's the one will we take the right decision we have to take a decision we cannot continue moving from the ups and downs and not continue looking for the light versus the darkness or being scared by the darkness but we have to put them together and stop this duality and become one and that in the physical body. So the, the two, two and one is five and really see that this is, as we say in numerology, the meeting point of pain and pleasure. This is, they happen at the same time. And we had an experience like that yesterday. Yeah, it was so touching just together, pain and pleasure are at the same time. Yeah, when you talk about this physical body, there's a strong resonance, uh, like uh, body as the temple. Mm -hmm. It's like <laughs> every minute, every second is so important, so precious. And who is there to, at the, enter, uh, the entrance of the temple to, to protect this preciousness? If it's not us, who is it? This, is this connection with the loyalty we're talking about is uh, uh, this invitation of awareness. Mm. of this preciousness like inside this is, a, is such a treasure and 
I resonated also with what you said about the, the potential distractions and it, it connects with the three C we talked about, you know, uh, uh, comparing, uh, criticizing and uh, complaining, complaining, no? Com complaining yes. criticizing, comparing, which are the, the strategies of the mind. Uh, when somehow the intensity of what we are going through is too much and we cannot handle the prana that is going through our system, then we block it by projecting on the outside what we cannot handle ourselves. And for me, this is really connected to what we, we will go through uh, next year, which was already starting rubbing of the polarities. But now it's like uh, it, it goes or it doesn't. Yes. But there is no compromise anymore somehow. Yes. yes. And in 2020, somehow we had the choice just to contemplate and not make action out of this pressure. But in 2021, we, we find the three in 23, if we add the two and one. So two and three, do I take the responsibility for myself about what do I do with this pressure? And we cannot go back to the past. We cannot um, find excuses others, I mean, outside ourselves in order to say, no, I don't move, I wait. There is really this three, which is, I go in my navel, I take the ownership and responsibility of what is happening, and I go for it. I really implement the right action, the right decision in my life. There is no time for excuses or no time for, I will wait and see. 2021 is, like the seed, no, I do the first step in the right direction. So I see also a lot of self-qualification with this two to one and this 23, it's time really to embody my values and no time to, to waste <laughs> in this distraction that yes. you described through the three C's. And interesting, is, um, I, recently I really came back to the simplicity of the body like the strength, the physical strength on the, of the body, how important is that? Because we talk a lot also in yoga with the meditation, increase the consciousness, expand and feel, um, uh, control the mind. But what I realize is that without a strong uh, body, it, it, it's very difficult to cope with the outside environment. This year, 2020, we were very vulnerable, even physically. We could fall sick at any minute. So there were many people that uh, took refuge in the mental. And uh, try, this is the, the uh, I would say, less positive aspect of the four. So they just tried to make a belief system about what I should do, what I should wear, how I should be with people, touch the other. Is that a, a, a danger for me or is that a friend? This is also the two. <laughs> one, one day was one, one day was the other. And if we don't have a strong physical body, and strong doesn't mean that we have to be superwoman and su superman. It just means that we have to move in a way that gives us confidence that our body doesn't give us message of fear, but give us message, hey, I can take care of myself. I can move. I can, uh, yeah, I can find my place where I am. So I see also these five, not only as a nervous system, but really as physical I am here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, like you say, the right tempo, only the physical body can give us that because the mind will never. <laughs> and also the flexibility of the number five, how I can go through change without being attached, without being identified to what was before. So the flexibility of the five is I'm able to let go and to go with the flow. But for that, I need self-respect. This is the one again, I need to respect my inner reason. The moment I get influenced by others or distracted, then I will create action. Or I will go in a direction that will bring blocks or challenges to tell me that I was out of my inner reason. So mm -hmm. I am really like, I feel the, the preciousness of the physical body, like the strength, the flexibility, the, the inner rhythm that is giving us every day. 
Yeah, and it connects also with the the digestive system. Huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, in Ayurveda, they call it Agni, is this capacity we have to, of course, digest food, but also digest the impressions of life mm -hmm. and the emotions. And I think particularly next year, we need to really kindle that Agni regularly so that, um, yeah, it, it can be physical activity, but it's also uh, what ev everything I take in that is not also nourishing this Agni, we put it down. So. Beware yes. what you put inside the physical body because what you will put inside the physical body uh, it will lower and, and, and cut the, the flow of the agony there in the digesting physical system and then it will be more, much more difficult to digest whatever is happening on more subtle dimensions mm -hmm. and what happened uh, with this opening of the solstice is we many people talked about the real opening of the Aquarian Age and that's true, but uh, you, we all know when the new energy is coming in, it, it, it can really come in as much as we digest the old. So the light of the Aquarian Age coming in means we have to digest the previous ages. Mm -hmm. yeah? yes. And this is not only uh, Piscean Age we were talking about, you know, hierarchy, patriarchy, but it's also the age of Aries. Because the last time this conjunction came of those three planets was 1,800 years before Christ. So it was really two ages ago, yes. you know, two times 2,000 years. So it's really deep, deep, deep subconscious that we are really clearing very deep dimensions of ourselves, not only personal, of course, very collective. So we might feel sometimes overwhelmed by this intensity of information. It's not it's a, everybody said 2020 was deep, I think. 2021 is <laughs> it was much just the deeper. preparation. <laughs> I agree on that. <laughs> yes, but just the preparation, it doesn't mean that it's scary. Yeah. Eh? It's, I find it exciting. That's also the quality of the one. It's exciting. It's a new start. It's a new birth. And when you digest all the information you were talking about, then is the moment you can start a new and start from the simplicity again of what it is. Because when it is digested, you are then empty. So you are ready to get uh, more. And the physical body, um, I think it can also teach us a lot about uh, the two. Indeed, it's, uh, the two is then, uh, it comes in uh, the doubt. And I can doubt myself, I can doubt my steps, I might not be aware of my needs. The, the physical body, uh, when I talk before of physical exercise, I didn't mean just to move and, uh, you know, the cliché, I go for a walk and I breathe fresh air. I really meant to use the physical body to go over, to go beyond your limitation. So use different muscles, do different postures, uh, do not do always the same walk, always the same run, always the same yoga kriya. Do things that challenge you a little bit so that it's not strenuous, that you don't lose the motivation so a little bit a little bit beyond because this will teach you mentally how to adapt to what is happening i the message is i can take it yes. mm -hmm. because i learn through my body yeah. so what i cannot do today i for sure can do tomorrow if i go a little bit beyond my limit so it's a mental exercise it's not just for the sake of a healthy body this uh, it's yeah. not what we want but it's a system uh, can I face what is happening and take my decision and be totally in life and, and honor it rather than complaining or being scared and being overwhelmed by life? By life? Mm. Yes, the, this connection with the five, because uh, the five is the physical body, so it's about constant change, transformation and also crisis, because a change is a crisis. And I like this uh, word in Chinese, they use crisis, they use two characters and one is danger, means danger, and the other one w uh, means opportunity. And I'm, I feel yeah. very much connected to what you say in that is if we use this new frequency, this like opening, this new opening of the Aquarian Age, without digesting the old, we will use this new energy to justify what we cannot digest. And like you say with the physical body, I justify that I cannot move one step forward because of my limitation, but this limitation belongs to the past. 
So there is an invitation of the five, which is this kind of uh, in the middle, you know, from one to ten, the five is in the middle between personal and personal, of being able to constantly question ourselves about am I justifying myself, my limited self that belongs to the past, that belongs to the old structure that I cannot let go, or is it really my limit, physical limit or emotional limit, uh, psychological limit? And this is the one again, is I am the only one that knows that. The only one. This is my inner compass. But if I don't challenge myself, if I don't question myself, it's too easy to use the new energy, and that we, we call it new age, you know, to yeah. put down what we don't want to see and create another illusion. There is no time to lose <laughs> for another illusion. <laughs> Yeah, and this is the illusion that, you know, in spiritual circles, uh, people say, but anyway, you know, we are all one. I have no expectation. I'm at the right time at the right space. No, I am completely separate in a different physical body. And through the, the prism of my separatedness, I can welcome the change. Because if we are all one, what is there to change, you know? And without change, there is no life. So we are here because we are in a constant state of movement creation. It's, it's a dynamic. And the dynamic comes when I accept that I am separated. And how do I honor that? Through my words. Feeling something very specific, very different, because the five elements, again, they have a very, very specific way to integrate and to balance within myself. And it's unique. I'm the only one to have this balance of the five elements. And if it's not shared with others, it's lost. For the entire world, because there was a chance for us as a collective, global collective, to make this experience of me yeah. and to have a, a specific mirror, a specific angle. And this can be shared very easily through words. And this combination with the five and the three is like words will manifest instantly almost. It's always happening. But we have this mind game that we, we create this separation be between what we say and the way it manifests. But this, this, this gap yes. will kind of lower because we will have really more sensation, more feedback of what we emit through our words. So this is, I think, yes. something to really observe in, in, in 2021 yeah. because, again, it can be uh, creating a, a better tomorrow or Amazing. sending us back to the old hell we all yes. know already. <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And this is happening. Uh, it's a new chance for the community as well. Mm. This year we had the four and we leave that in the community, this polarization. And, but next year there is this four to two with the one. So it's like the only way, the only way sorry, to bring dynamic in a true Sangha, in a true community, it's to stand for my voice. It's to express what is going on through my specific angle, my unique angle. Otherwise, we are creating a new illusion uh, of the Sangat by compromising, uh, making the angle round, but we don't get the juice of the teaching. The teaching, the five, is there if there is the four, the Sangat, but we are all separated, like you say, unique, and we have our own contribution. But for that, we need to get rid of the 3C, because if I start to be jealous, if I start to compare, no, I prefer this seat than this seat, <laughs> then we get lost again in the distraction. Eh? Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's, it's really nice in this moment. What uh, uh, appears to me is the first time really physically that I have an experience of the uh, significant number 23, like Satmuk said before, the five in this case is the two of the 2000 and then the two and the one, which is the three. So 23 is a significant number. And at this moment, I am observing what is happening and it's exactly that. And I find it so magic, actually. You see, the five is contained because we are three. There is an exchange and, you know, it bubbles. And <laughs> everybody is a stimulation for the other to speak and to have new ideas. There are, you can have, we can be here 10 hours to speak. We won't bother you for 10 hours. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is the five. It creates a transformation. And the two is contained in the different relationship because best friends, and we are married, and this is another relationship. So 
And you know, if we were just two, you would do like a ping pong, back and forward, back and forward. We agree, we don't agree. But with the three, it bubbles in a five, which is then the manifestation of, wow, there's so many things to say and so many things that are there. Yeah, and I think it's one of the energies also of this new year is uh, um, the, the expansive energy of creativity that we'll have many new ideas, you know, yes. new concepts. And that's, yeah. that's, that's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. It's like, um, like you said, uh, bubbling up of new perspectives. Mm. Maybe come and go because I think it will be like it comes and then we forget it and then maybe it will come later in the year. So don't worry if your ideas don't manifest immediately, but let it bubble up. Let yes. it bubble up. There is yes. really this, uh, this increasing fire coming. Yeah, so this, there, there can even be an extra, you know, bubbling uh, in this year, of course, because the fire is always tricky. Uh, and this is the Jupiter aspect. You know, we talked about this conjunction. So Jupiter is all about expansion, right? Mm -hmm. But the second strong planet, which is there and uh, close to Jupiter, still in, in conflict also in, the, in this next year, will be uh, Saturn. It is exactly the opposite. Is how I can contain myself, okay? So there will always be this, uh, these two energy meeting, which, which creates this pressure and fire. But they need to combine because mm -hmm. Jupiter alone is only more, 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 and it's distraction. Obviously, distraction for next year. So yes, we need the ring. We need the ring exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we need to contain ourselves, you know, to ground ourselves, so that yes. our actions are meaningful and they have a real impact, lasting impact, mm. sustainable. Mm. And the physical body is there for that. If the nervous system is balanced, we are able to be stimulated without losing the connection with yes. ourselves. If our if a nervous system is weak, we will be into the an expansion which is not contained and create separation, create a, a distance between what is happening really inside me and from what I was taken, you know, all this uh, stimulation that are not contained. So there is this uh, display which is very important. If we are also, because the, the, it's also the, the limitation, so if we are not connected to, when we expand too much, we will go in the head automatically, in the fantasy, in the bubbling, what we talked before, without being able to contain in the physical body. And we talked before about the illusion, the creating a new illusion. This is where the, the new illusion is planted, is when there is an expansion which is not anchored in the reality of my experience. And the reality of my experience is what I feel. My experience is physical. Then mm. it takes different layers of subtlety. So there is this challenge of being able to expand, but still being able to be anchored in the one through my physicality, which is many times what we want to go beyond because the physical physicality bring us back to I'm separated, <laughs> I am alone, and I don't want that. <laughs> yes. But how goes the story? Because there is a story until the end of the year that you mentioned. I want to hear the story. Ah, uh, yeah. The movement of the planets. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Jupiter will move uh, in, in Pisces. They are now in, uh, in the Aquarius. They will move, it will move in Pisces, but... So we will have this idea that, yes, the wave is behind. We did it. But beware, no. guys, no. <laughs> it will come back, retrograde, and we will have this feeling that, again. Oh, no. <laughs> so if you take it from the mind, you will be depressed. But if you are really in your self-sensory system, huh, we've been guided through that, with this self-sensitivity, then it will be just another opportunity to ride even a bigger wave yes. right? for more joy. Yes. More joy, because there is definitely a big, big, huge source of joy next year. Yes, so we can imagine to be on the wave surfing rather than being here waiting that the exactly. wave to submerge us. It's just intensity. Mm, what is there is intensity. Yeah. So, of course, we reacted in our past with what we couldn't hold. So intensity, we have memories of that in the nervous system. That mm. when We have a, a point where something is triggered and then we say it's too much. And this is this conditioning, you know, there is no limit to the intensity the physical body can hold because it was designed 
as a finite entity to hold infinity. So there is no, actually, the physical body is the one through which we can experience unlimitedness. <laughs> yes. And we had a great example to the fifth guru. Yes. I mean, the fifth guru was tortured for five days and he kept the smile because he could contain all this pain without losing the joy of life, the joy of being connected to the one, which was, I'm still connected to who I am. You can do whatever you want to me. And this, uh, with the three we have been talking about is also, do I take things personally? Do I make a personal stories of this universal story what, which is happening? So this constant awareness through the physical body, through the breath, because it's very important as well for the connection with the physical body, we can avoid to go into the personal drama and enjoy it. Because where there is no personal drama, there is a, a, a constant joy. Because we can, it's like watching a movie. But the moment I'm hooked and it's about me, depending yeah. on the story that we, we, we have, we go down and down and down. And 2021 can be really a way down. Yes. Yes. Because yes. this is the crisis. It can bring you down and this is the danger we have been talking about. And you yeah. will feel uh, a polarization between the, the one that are surfing the wave and the other that are like drowning. Yes. Drowning, yeah. And that wants to bring you down to justify that they are right to drown and they didn't have choice. So they will be like in kind of victim way of saying, no, but in my situation, you cannot do differently. No, don't, yes. don't take the bait. Stay on the yeah. surf and through your uh, anchor, uplift them. Give them a chance to see that there is another possibility. But go and surf your wave. Don't be influenced by this self-ego stories, <laughs> self-justification. <laughs> yeah, because on the positive side of it, this is the deepest prayer is give me more. Yes. There's never enough. There's never enough. So yeah. the three well ended is like, give me more. I want all of it. More, 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 more. That's the prayer of the three when it's uh, when aligned with the yes. five. It's, yeah. I want more, more, when more. When you open more, up. More. Because Excellent. the protective side is when you say, no, it's enough. I am in my comfort zone. Please don't move the waters. I want to stay where I am. And there is no stay where you are because life is changed. So that's the big lesson. You have to serve the wave or you have to drown, And you have to decide in which way you want to do it. <laughs> which way you want to die to this year. <laughs> To the year, not to die. Eh? <laughs> to die to the year, in the sense that there is a big letting go. Yeah, yeah. And this is I what opens up to the possibilities. Yeah, the letting go to who you think you are, because the moment we say it's too much, it's the letting go we, off. Yes, it's we are still attached to who I think I am, yes. and it's still yes. uh, uh, more comfortable than going for the unknown of this potentiality, which is unlimited. Therefore, I cannot put limit, I cannot define who I am, except every moment by being connected to myself. Yes. So all the excuse you will find about it is too much is just the ego that doesn't want to die and will use whatever is available to say, no, no, but there is this and that, but it's just an attachment to who you think you are and your comfort zone. And this is okay. Yeah. We are not all here to grow. We are here to experience different angles. <laughs> so that's completely fine. <laughs> and it's an opportunity. Yes. Because this pressure, I have too much. The first time I experienced it is when I had to get out of the womb. So it's either I get back to this moment of suffering, oh, uh, I, I, we, which in fact is the part of me that never really got out. But through this memory, I can connect to the part of me that actually really never was born and will never be born, really. Mm -hmm. So this is really the idea, this, this womb, we were really connected this uh, much, last yes. trimester mm -hmm. with the womb with aspect. The womb, yeah. We are the one to give birth to ourselves. Yeah. There's nobody else who can do it. And we, we took a choice, huh? so yeah. that's definitely, we took the choice. <laughs> So we accepted and then now we are finding ways to break and to say, no, no, that's too much. No, that's the moment where we have to look for the abundance of life and yeah. say, okay, I open up to the possibilities and let them come.
Yeah. Very exciting. Very. So this is really connected uh, to this. Uh, there's a meditation we would like to. to of propose. course, now the work comes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just words, right? We have to practice if we want to reach there. That's 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 obvious, and maybe that's a strong message also yes. to give this year. Because if you want, you know, you can fall on that side or the other. Uh, you have to practice to get to the best of uh, of your life. It's the only way it's to practice. Do the work is what you said a few days ago. Do the work because this is the only way you can have a sort of self, also self-confidence and expansion and surf with all this energy moving because otherwise we will feel so small and so mm. limited that we will get scared. So we will do a, another video to present the meditation that we will uh, yeah. uh, give you to uh, integrate all this energy and keep your, your sense of self and not be too distracted and make the best out of 2021 because as you as, as you've heard there is a lot <laughs> that will happen yes. <laughs> or potentially happen but i had the impression this is something you wanted to say and you didn't finish or about the meditation to do there is a concept yeah yeah because we we, we talked a lot about jupiter and saturn we didn't talk about uranus which is the energy yes. of the aquarius and this is the birth we're talking about. You know, it's not like now we are in the Aquarius. We will be the one to give birth to this age or not, because we are like a midwife. We are like pregnant women. We are not like now let's surf on the wave. It's like really, can I really honor that something new is coming mm. and I am the one to give birth to it? And there is a joy in that. Yes. Or there can be the the pain of you know it's yeah. too much. Yeah. This is exactly we are all women. We you know, it's all our feminine side that is. Uh, calling now that mm. to be experienced men and women it's it's not like this idea of polarity patriarchy matriarchy yes. no it's we have we all have a chance to experience this uh delivering womb yes we all have a delivering womb within <laughs> maybe <laughs> you didn't new. know it <laughs> that's the news, <laughs> that's the news. <laughs> for 2021 we are all pregnant <laughs> of ourselves <laughs> and we need to deliver <laughs> And this is the idea of the meditation we want to propose is, uh, can I experience this? Because we can have words and stuff. In the end, it's can I experience it physically? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that will be the idea of this practice. Mm -hmm. and, and, and really, that, then this energy of Uranus will be really like uh, embodying my, my truth, mm -hmm. which is the part of the truth, <laughs> just one part. Mm. But the one that will illuminate the others is it's, it's really shared. This is the only way. Maybe a few words because I think mostly we know the energy of Jupiter and Saturn because we speak so much about these two planets in Kundalini Yoga. But a few words on the quality of Uranus. Yeah, it connects me a little bit, you know, to this energy of we have when we feel like we're connected in the arc line. It's like a mm. little thunderbolt. Like, Mm. It struck me. This is Uranus. Mm. It can come on anybody's head. It's not like there is one person responsible for everybody there. It's like it can come with no... You cannot even have expectations. It's there. Yes. Yes. So it's kind of unpredictable somehow, this, this kind mm. of energy. So it's like electricity because it yeah. passes then from one to the other. Yeah. So. But then, if I don't share it when it's there, then I create more pressure for the others because what I have not shared, the other it would be more difficult to share because they have to share what they feel plus what I haven't shared. And it will, you know, this is the yeah. shared responsibility. Yes. And yeah, this is connected to what we say about this uh, new constellation for the Sangat with the four on one. Is if I don't, if I deny it, because we have many ways to deny it. Oh no, I cannot say that, or I cannot share that, or, or you don't trust the message. This. Uh, uh, this electricity coming in your electromagnetic field. So this is also the responsibility we have for 2021. Even if we are not so good with words, yeah. it's the energy. It's not the words that are important. It's, if we are able to share this energy, then we create the motion of the five. It's like how my individual uh, perspective nourish the collective perspective. And that is the Sangat. And Yogi Bhajan talked a lot about the Aquarian Age, and he talked a lot about community that was completely entangled together. And 
today we have a chance to really, I would say, start yeah. towards a community that is respecting the individual, but also where the individual takes the responsibility of the community and doesn't expect the community to save or solve the problems that we have individuality and especially the separation. In a community, we are all separated and that's the beauty of it. Because the common point is not to be together, it's what's happening by being together. <laughs> we, but many times we, we are confused with that. We come together and it's like, it's like a new family, but a new family, you know your family, it's, <laughs> it's full of compromise <laughs> and full of statu quo and, yes. and so on. No, the, the, the Sangat is we are all separated and by coming with this uh, loyalty towards ourselves, mm. the teaching happened, the five happened. Mm. And this, uh, the responsibility is exactly the word uh, I was connected to. The one brings also this idea of uh, leadership. I have to, now it's, it's in holy humility, but now it's my turn. I have to manifest what is there, because if I don't manifest it, others will have to compensate for it. Yeah. And this is how a community works. It's not about you and saving your own, uh, protecting yourself and no, because I don't want conflicts or because, or I want to be the one or I don't want to be the one, according if the action is positive or not. We have to drop that. Yeah. There is a moment where you have to be the one and immediately after you drop it because you are never the one. You are the one for just one fraction of a second yes. and you have to catch this fraction of a second yeah, this is, is your yeah. duty actually yeah. this is our yeah. duty our common duty yeah. this is a for each yeah. other yeah this is a sense of duty yeah? Yeah. yeah 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 so a lot of ideas eh? <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, practice yes yeah. let's we, practice we will stop here for the exchange and we will have a next video where we will explain the practice and, and we can continue doing that for the next 40 days after the after tomorrow actually first of january and even more if you want yeah it's very good if you can start it with the beginning of the year especially for this year where we yes. have this 21 here it's really to start from the beginning because in the beginning of the year is already the whole year condensed somehow Mm. Yes. So it will be really important that these first few weeks of the year you really into your your, your discipline. It's actually it's already there yeah. during the transition. We are already in this preparation and in this integration of the previous year versus the new one. What do we do with the information of the past months, and what will we do in the new year? So for now, today celebration and uh, conscious transition which doesn't mean boring, <laughs> right? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but it's conscious, yes. Sat now. Sat now. <laughs>